With the ongoing drought causing concerns of an early and extreme wildfire season, some homeowners are taking advantage of assistance programs to help them create a safe zone around their homes. Noah Chas spoke with a Lapine man who had a close call last summer with the Darlene fire, and he wants to do everything he can to protect his property. We dodged a bullet on that one. There was no question about it. Phil Johnson's 25-acre Lapine property was half a mile away from the flames of last summer's Darlene fire, a fire that destroyed most everything in its path. Definitely. After the fire that we had last summer, it pretty much scared the hell out of everybody. His property was fine, but he says there's five to six areas of brush and branches around it that need to be cleaned up or they present huge wildfire fuel risks. You know, if it gets in here, it's going to burn. There's no question about it. You can look around here, and I spent almost 20 years trying to get what's cleaned up, cleaned up. But if it gets in these trees, it's going to go through it. Nothing is going to stop it. Phil is applying for help on fuel reduction projects with the Oregon Department of Forestry's Central Oregon District. The funding comes from a $5 million Senate bill and is open to landowners in areas like Juniper Canyon, Crooked River Ranch, and sections of Lapine. We have a really short time frame to you know, put these operational dollars on the ground and get them, you know, the projects completed. If accepted, ODF will design a minimum standard of what needs to be done and could have a firefighter offering technical assistance or other groups helping out. Cleaning up this area, that's obviously something that you couldn't do just all by yourself. You can, but it takes, takes years to do it. Absolutely years to do it. But if you get 10 guys going in here, you could look at a week, you know, and you'd have 10 acres cleaned out. Phil's kids have moved out of the house and he's still recovering from a broken leg. So we try, as neighbors, try to get together and help each other do stuff like that. But yeah, it's tough, especially as you get older. There's no question about it. He's grateful the grant is an option and thinks it will inspire people to create safe zones around their homes. And most people that live here put both feet in. You know, they, you don't, they're just not, well, I do it a little bit or when I want to. They're on it all year round. In Lapine, Noah Chast, News Channel 21.